Welcome cuties, let's create. Good afternoon everybody. I hope everyone had a really good Christmas. Um, I hope you got everything that you wanted and I hope you got to spend time with family because I feel like that's something that's very important during the holidays. So, last week I was a liar. <laughs> it was not the last holiday uh, outfit for the year. This one is the last one of 2020. So, I kind of forgot about the holiday, um, New Year's Eve, New Year's, and somehow in my brain I was like, oh, this will be the first, the first one of 2021, but I did not think it through because I have it on my schedule that this one would be coming out. I want to try and have these um, holiday outfits come out before the actual holiday, like the week of that holiday. So that's kind of why I did it and why I have it now. So I am just going to talk about my process. So here I started off and it was very boring and just a plain T pose, just standing there. And I previously actually drew this before and I don't like how it turned out. I was gonna have her wear a gold dress, but the gold just looked yellow. I, I don't know how to make it look gold, I'm not gonna lie, um, without adding glitter. <laughs> so I decided to go a different approach, do something different. And I wanted to take an element, and the other reason why I was like, ah, I shouldn't have done gold, because last year, even though I realized I never colored it, but I did a dress inspired by champagne. And champagne is kind of a, you know, a brownish color. So yeah, decided against that. And FYI, the other side of my sketchbook, I, this is a random tangent. <laughs> so I have been wanting to figure out what to collect as um, something for a souvenir when we go to all these different places, me and my husband and when we're traveling. And I haven't been able to figure it out. I thought about doing um, enamel pins or lapel pins, whatever you would like to call them. I thought about um, collecting those but we have been a lot of different places so I feel like it's kind of too late unless I want to go back to all those places which would be awesome but <laughs> um, yeah so I decided to start creating my own stickers so we'll see how that goes but <laughs> that's a just a side note so back to my drawing so I wanted to take something that was inspired by this holiday. And it's mostly just about partying, a lot of different, you know. I always think of like bright neon colors for some reason, but I do. That's just how my brain works. Um, so anyway, I thought of parties. And so I decided to switch up her pose and kind of do like a dancing twirl pose, kind of. And I also did something different where her eyes are closed and her lips are puckered. Um, so yeah, that's the pose. And something that I have been doing recently that I actually really like that gives me a good idea of where the legs should be is I kind of have, I almost basically start them off in a swimsuit, um, as you can see. So I kind of do like the box for up top, I go in and then out for, you know, obviously girls, curvy, we like curvy girls. Um, but then I have these, it's almost like when you're young and you draw the far away M's in the sky for birds. It's kind of like that. <laughs> and that's where I put the legs. So I've been doing that 
uh, fairly recently, and I actually really like it. So that is what I decided to do. Um, that's how a little trick that I have learned. Um, so I want to see if you can guess what item from New Year's that I am taking inspiration from. <laughs> I decided to go literal instead of like thinking of my, well I guess I mean thinking of my Halloween one. I had the, oh what's it called? It'll come, it'll come, hold on. The pumpkins. So there's that. So it's kind of it's kind of like that, in a way. Um, but yeah. So it was actually a little difficult because I did tr think about doing this digitally because I could. The way I had it in my head, and I didn't draw this in my sketchbook because alcohol markers bleed already, and I was deciding to use those, and so I didn't want to use too much, so I would have like the whole page bled through on the other side, um, which I am fine with, because I think probably what I will do is just, you know, kind of sketch and play around with maybe different facial features again. I I have decided, and I, I want to also get better at drawing guys, because as you can tell, I draw a lot of girls. I'm sorry guys, but girls are just more fun to draw, in my opinion. <laughs> Which is no fair, it's no fair, but, because I would, you know, I don't really, I just, I don't know. So, girls are just more fun. I'm sorry. It's just my opinion. <laughs> and I'm also just not good at drawing, guys. But, anyway, back to my drawing. So, I kind of liked her pose. I kind of did, like, this, like, open hand on one side and, like, down on the other. And, and I also didn't want to go with brown because I feel like a lot of my characters have brown hair, so I will end up giving her black hair. Ooh. Um, don't worry, one of these days I will have a blonde hair. <laughs> I just, I have a hard time of like figuring out because looking at, I guess the gold, I could use, of how I do it, I could use that as blonde hair but it's just yellow like there's different shades of blonde and so it's not gonna look truly blonde but um, I guess it's cartoon so whatever it will just be yellow it'll be pea yellow so yay um, but yeah I I really I thought this was kind of fun and I tried to do something different and I do want to start using my sketchbook a lot more um, instead of I've just been using like loose papers. So I'm actually using my actual sketchbook for this. And I want to start doing that more often. Uh, just so you get more of a look into what my sketchbook looks like because before, you know, I have had sketchbooks and um, I honestly, don't show anyone my sketchbooks and so this I can kind of give you a sneak peek into some other different um, art projects that I'm just working on on the side or some other drawings that I do um, I try to draw very frequently um, so yeah but I don't want this to be just an art channel I want it to be also crafts so try to find a balance <laughs> yay um, <laughs> anyway so sorry. I get sidetracked and I just kind of ramble. Sometimes it's hard because I'm like, oh, I wish someone else was with me so we could like have a conversation, but I'm just having a conversation with myself. So <laughs> you get to hear me talk to myself for 15 minutes. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> um, but yeah, I... I have been recently also using my electric eraser, 
which is really nice because it erases really well and it's also really small so it's good for those tiny little areas that I need to fix and uh, yeah and I got it from Daiso for $1.50 so that was pretty nice um, what I've decided to do differently is I'm going to start at the bottom of the screen. I will start putting what uh, marker I'm using and what color it is. Um, if you happen to have any of these or want to recreate, um, you would have to buy these markers. So the ones that I'm using. I don't use my Artify ones, honestly, a whole lot. Um, I did in the beginning when I was first starting out and that was you know the only marker set that I had and then I got my Ohuhu ones and I did have some Prismacolor ones um, I have one uh, Copic marker but uh, yeah so that's what I have so and that's the other thing is my Artify, a lot of the colors are similar to the Ohuhu ones. I should just do the Artify more often, so that way when they dry out, I have the Ohuhus, but that's besides the point. That's just another random tangent. So what I did with the hair is I, I, did, I did it off camera. I apologize. I was scared because it was black. <laughs> And I didn't want to mess up, so I took off the pressure of the camera. But I get the brush part of the uh, marker, and I go in one direction, and then I flip it around, and I go in the opposite, so it kind of gives this shiny look. And then afterwards, once it's dry, I use a white gel pen, and I go over you know, the, the black spot and um, wipe it over with my finger to kind of dull out the white color so that is what I do and yeah I really like how this turned out and enjoy and I hope you guys have a safe New Year's please drive safe I know there's a lot of partiers so please please be safe when you're out there um, with friends or family and have a good year Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell, 
give the video a like or a comment, stay a while and watch a couple more episodes, and until next time, keep creating!